G'day, welcome to another Grota Cycle video. I'm really pleased today to be able to show you what I've been working on. Um, sorry it's been a little while since I've made a serious video, but I've been just getting really stuck in doing a whole lot of work and all sorts of interesting things. But anyway, today I've just um, been working on a, a basically decorating some of these container gardens. Just having a bit of fun, just getting just getting stuck in with my hands playing around. Um, my my friend, my colleague, who I've just recently met, she's really gotten me um inter interested in just getting out there and doing it. You know, she motivates me and gets me gets me started. I've I've honestly been intending to do this for so long, but I just keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, making excuses. Anyway, um, it's been really really helpful um having someone who's really keen to uh, keep me going, you know, just motivate me. Um, and so, yeah, this is what I've been working on. So just a couple of things. I mean, it's just been messing around, you know, like nothing serious, but um, there's, here's a couple of examples. So here's a self-watering uh, container. So basically this is this bottom chamber here, below this line is the water chamber. And um, yeah, my, my friend, she uh, painted this. So just really creative, just having fun. And this is something fun I was working on. So again, you can see here's the line below the water chamber, and um, these are some 3D whiskers, 3D, um, yeah, basically like a, just a cat design, and the squiggles, which um, um, kind of come back to the tail of the uh, the cat. And yeah, it's a bit of fun, you know. And then just some creative designs. I really love what she's done with the uh, flowers, and uh, I was just being creative with a bit of squiggles. And what we're thinking. Um, of doing, I'm not entirely sure, but I think the plan will be um, basically cut a hole or maybe two holes on the front, then either have string or have a hook of some kind um, through the handle. And then you can have a hanging garden with the, uh, f the plants kind of hanging down. So we were thinking maybe of growing strawberries with the suckers coming down, hanging down from the side of the container. Um, but we're also thinking maybe doing a project for the community and um, basically hanging these bottle um, gardens from pallets um, and doing like some kind of decorative like um, artwork in a way um, for the community as well. But anyway, I wanted to add on just a couple of things. So it's been really, really good. Um, like, like I said, I've, I've been planning on doing this for so long, but it wasn't until I met someone who's really keen who... Um, you know, just supports me and, and, you know, like provides so much support. Like, for example, I'll be in the garden, um, that's just this last week and I'll, I'll have been working for the morning and then I'll, it'll start raining and I want to go home, but she'll be saying, well, that's just one, one more thing, one more thing. And, and just keeps me motivated and keeps me moving. Um, and you know, she brings tea or, or snacks and, you know, just keep gives me, keeps giving me that energy boost to keep going. She has a car, which has been really, really helpful. Um, but also, yeah, like just getting started on the painting. I, I honestly, I, I went out and bought $60 worth of materials. They've been sitting there for two months. I just haven't gotten my got, gotten off my backside and just done it. You know, I've wanted to. But it's, you know, like sometimes just picking yourself up and taking a risk is really hard. Unless you've got someone else out there who will, you know, just motivate you and keep you going. So it's been really good finally meeting this person who's who's also passionate and keen to start to actually do something. Anyway, um, I won't ramble on anymore, but it's been really good to catch up. And I hope that I'll catch you later in a future video. Cheers.